Difficult people mean everything from a colleague to a parent to anybody actually in the community that might have an interaction with us in school. If we're not careful, what's ending up is teachers are spending far more time dealing with one or two very difficult people instead of teaching and motivating our children in the classroom, which is really where their time should be spent. Okay, here comes our iceberg. A person starts to behave in a certain way, nobody does anything about it, so it becomes a norm, and the next thing is it becomes a major issue because nobody is dealing with either a negative behaviour or difficult behaviour, when in fact actually what we need is cooperation and understanding because our rule is if we can motivate each other, then the children will benefit. It's not the ability of people that's at the question, it's the conduct of people. So we need to establish ground rules of how a school functions, how parents can contact us, how we can support families, but it's our rules, not theirs. So we're establishing, if you like, that identity. This is what our school does. This is what it provides. And this is how you can support it. And that's the process we start looking at. OK. And what was the result? I spent uh, 18 years in the classroom teaching economics, geography and history. I ended up for eight years as a head of two independent schools in Bedfordshire. Uh, I set up my own training business. I work partly with education, partly with industry. I do that for a purpose. I think education has a lot to learn from industry and I think industry has a lot to learn from education. If you're in a situation where it's you personally challenging another person personally, you're likely to have a very difficult confrontational situation. So what we're trying to establish is that first of all the school, sh or the school should establish a policy. So it's taking the personality out of it so that you can say, well actually the policy says this is what we should do. So how can we work together to do that? The reality is we have to move on. And what was a problem yesterday has to become a solution for tomorrow. And we have to move to the solution. So the whole techniques that we're looking at is, first of all, is not fighting back about the problem. Is saying, OK, I, I understand there is a problem. Not necessarily agreeing, but we understand the problem. But what is important is how we move to a solution. 